in this video, a simple experiment is performed. In this experiment, a piece of paper is taken along with a concave mirror. Now the piece of paper is kept in front of the concave mirror in such a way so that a bright spot of light is obtained. What do you think this bright spot of light is? The rays of light that are coming in from the sun after reflection from the mirror are getting concentrated at a point. This point is the bright spot of light. You will notice that this is causing the paper to burn as all the heat of the sunlight is concentrated at this point. So we can say that the parallel sun rays are forming an image after reflection at this bright spot. So let us find out more about the image that is being formed by the concave mirror. So we used a concave mirror in the previous experiment. After reflection, the sun rays met at a point that could be obtained in space. In other words, the image of the sun rays after reflection was obtained in space as the bright spot of light or the focus. So such an image that can be obtained in space or in the real world is known as a real image. As you can clearly see from this picture, a candle that is the object has been kept in front of a concave mirror. And we find that the image of the candle after reflection from the concave mirror has been obtained on a screen placed behind the object. In case of a real image, the object and the image are always on the same side. Now what do you think happens in case of a convex mirror? In case of a convex mirror, if we keep a piece of paper in front of it, we will notice that the sun rays after reflection are not burning the piece of paper. Why do you think this is happening? This is because after reflection, the rays of light, the parallel rays of light are spreading in the outward direction. Now when the rays spread in the outward direction, they are not meeting at a point that can be obtained in space. That is, no image of the parallel sun rays is being formed that can be obtained in space or in the real world. However, these reflected rays that are moving outwards seem to be coming from or diverging from a point that lies behind the mirror. This point is the focus and this is the point where the image of the sun rays are being formed. As this image cannot be obtained on a screen or in the real world in space, this image is known as the virtual image of the sun rays. Now you know, when you stand in front of a plane mirror, you can see your image on the mirror. Now can you tell me whether that image is real or virtual? Yes, that image is virtual. Just like a convex mirror produces a virtual image, a plane mirror also produces a virtual image. That is, an image that cannot be obtained in space in the real world or an image which cannot be obtained on a screen. So, the image that is obtained behind the mirror, as is the case with convex mirrors and also plane mirrors, and the image that cannot be obtained on a screen is known as a virtual image. You will notice that in case of a virtual image, the object is on the other side of the mirror as compared to the image. Now I have a very interesting question for you. In this picture, you see the headlight of a car has been shown. Do you know what the function of the headlight is? This headlight contains a bulb and a large concave mirror. The purpose of this setup is to produce a beam of light that spreads out in the forward direction and travels a long distance. 
this helps the driver in the car to see the road ahead of him. Now, can you tell me which type of image is formed by the headlight of a car? Is it a real image or a virtual image? Let us find out. In case of the headlight of a car, the bulb is kept at the focus of the concave mirror. As you can see from the animation, the rays that are coming from the bulb after reflection from the concave mirror are traveling parallel to the principal axis of the concave mirror. These rays are also parallel to one another. So what is happening as a result? These rays are able to travel a long distance. But do you think these rays are meeting? No, right? So what kind of image is being formed? You will be interested to learn that a real image is formed. How? Look closely at the animation again. Here you find that the rays after reflection are becoming parallel to one another. Parallel rays, even though they do not meet, we can say that they meet at infinity. So in other words, the image that is being formed is being formed at infinity. So we can say a real image is formed. This is how the driver of the car can see for a long distance ahead of him because the rays of light that are coming out from the headlight is parallel. Now consider another scenario. In this picture, you find the rear view mirror of a car has been shown. Now can you tell me, is this rear view mirror a concave mirror or a convex mirror? Let us find out. Firstly, consider the situation if this mirror is a concave mirror. Now if this mirror were a concave mirror, rays of light after falling on this mirror would have converged on some point. This point would have been obtained in space or in the real world. Now the driver sitting inside the car would not have been able to see this point as there is no screen to obtain this image. Also, it might have been that this point formed behind the driver, that is the image of these vehicles were formed behind the driver. So clearly, if this mirror is a concave mirror, the purpose is not fulfilled. So what happens if it is a convex mirror? If this mirror is a convex mirror, then the rays of light that are incident on this mirror after reflection will seem to diverge from points behind the mirror. Now due to this, the driver will be able to see the reflection of what is behind his car on this mirror. So this purpose is fulfilled by a convex mirror. Now you will obviously ask me that why are we using a convex mirror and not a plane mirror? Because as we just discussed, that a plane mirror and a convex mirror both form virtual images. The answer is, in case of a convex mirror, rays after falling on the mirror diverge and spread out in all directions. Due to this, the driver is able to get a wider view of what is behind his car. This would not have been possible if we had used a plane mirror. So taking a quick recap, what did we learn? We learned that images formed by concave mirror is real and images formed by convex mirrors are virtual. Real images can be obtained on a screen in the real world in space and they lie on the same side as that of the object. On the other hand, virtual images cannot be obtained on a screen in the real world. They lie on the other side of the mirror as compared to the object.